What up? So I received a project from a cat named Chief Takanawa. He sent me two projects from his Hanya series and I decided to go with the latest called Blossoms. I'll leave the other ones to the kids. Chief Takanawa is an affiliate of On Soul and Ethereal Universe. You remember Ethereal Universe, right? I did a review of one of their albums a little while back. I think it was uh, The Infinite Stardom. If you haven't seen that review, you can actually click right here in the top right. Uh, you'll be able to see it here, but not without watching this review first, all right? You know, <laughs> Blossoms came out in 2017. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my review and you give me yours. Is this pass or fail? Let's check it out. Thanks for tuning in to Reanimix Reviews, where we give the best indie album reviews on the planet. We really do pride ourselves in taking an unbiased approach to reviewing indie music. The overall score is determined by these four categories. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Replayability. I wouldn't say that I would play this all the time, but it's definitely something that's good for chill situations. Okay. All right. All right. I mean, I guess I would say periodically, though. Because of that Toonami vibe it gives, it brings me back to my college days when I used to tune into Toonami. You know, it reminds me of a Toonami tribute. That's what this reminds me of. Like Star, Star, Out, I mean, Outlaw Star, you know. So for that kind of vibe to get away from the grown man stuff from time to time, it works. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. crispy or anything like that I mean it wasn't terrible and it didn't ruin the experience I mean I know I say that all the time but I think he was trying to go for a more dusty sound in my opinion yeah I wish I wish I wish those drums were uh, engineered a little better hopefully yeah, that was the case these though drums hit a little harder man like if they were mixed a little harder like mixed they hit a little harder I mean a couple of tracks that I felt that the drums should have been brought out more, but other than that, not bad. I'm gonna give this an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And, uh, the drums come in, and they come in pretty good. Oh, don't get me wrong, it's just not, it's not like a crispy drum that that that's gonna like move you from your seat a little bit. You know, it's kind of more of a chill vibe. Musicality. Because of the Tanami vibe, it definitely has some musical influences displayed. I like this. There were a lot of good melodies. This is not your traditional, you know, hip hop that you normally hear. You know, it's a lot, a lot more melodic. I don't think he's going for that. He's going more for uh, just a melodic vibe, a melodic Asiatic vibe from what I can tell. There was that one horn that was used on that one track, how it needed a better sample of the horn as it was just a little too synthy. It would have been so much I better wish, with a greater sample. I like the melody of this. I wish you had a better saxophone for this. Cause it has that, it has that synthy sound. You know, and you try to capture saxophones in its organic form, or in original form, it's kind of hard, especially when you use plugins and VST plugins and stuff. But you know, you, you, you do what you can with what you got. I'm not penalizing you on that. That's just something I noticed. But overall, though, I definitely got my musical feel. Nine out of 10. One 
thing I really loved were the anime samples being used. Oh, Kuwabara! Yeah, I'm an anime head too, so, you know, certain types of anime anyway. I'm not, you know, all in, but yeah, I do like, I do dig anime. I'm not against it. I'm open-minded. I'm definitely an anime and Toonami head, so those little hidden nuggets were very pleasurable. I don't know, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay. I, if, I, as soon as I was about to say it was a little repetitive, it switched up on me. Well, it took a bit to get to it, but you know, it did switch up. Good work. Although I said I wouldn't play it all the time, I definitely enjoyed it regardless. That sample sounds familiar. Sounds like something I used before. That drum, that drum sample. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, that right there. I mean, it isn't a top tier album or anything like that. It's pretty average, but it is enjoyable. Let me give it a 10 out of 10. Special acknowledgements. Displayed on the screen somewhere around here are the tracks that stood out to me. Alright, there you have it, man. 9.0 out of 10. So, yeah, you know, it's a little bit more than your typical average album, but, you know, it was enjoyable for sure. If you love Toonami type music and chill hop, Oh yeah, you're gonna love this one for sure. To the average listener though, it's gonna probably take some getting used to. I mean, so yeah, man, it served its purpose, it did. I mean, but I wouldn't say it's gonna be one of those that stopped the show or anything like that. Not a bad project, just slightly above average, but I do think it's still worth checking out, don't get me wrong. So you can go to Bandcamp to hear this, the link's in the description right here. So man, have you heard this project before? What do you think of the music that was played on this video? To pass or fail for you. Give a comment, share this video, like this video, subscribe if you dig what we're doing. And if you haven't already, although I wouldn't know why you haven't, uh, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell to get the notifications. Yeah, the, the activity on this channel is gonna be ramping up pretty soon, so it'd be really good if you probably click that bell to get those notifications, stay up to date. All right. Well, I'm going ahead and take off and prep for this next review. Next review I'm going to do is J Black's Soulful Music. All right, so taking off. So thanks for watching Reanimix Reviews. Tune in next time. Peace. You know, because I've seen both, so that's what I'm doing. So I received a project from a cat named Chief Chakanawa. So I received a project from a cat named Chief Chak Chief Takanawa is an affiliate of On Soul and Chief Taka. <laughs> oh what? Chief Ka okay. Check out last week's episode, or if you want, you can check out Reanimix TV, which is a locally syndicated TV show where you can get anime, grassroots music, interviews, videos, and the whole nine. So check it out. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to get more updates on our developments. Peace. Peace.